So friends, what is UI design? I will try to explain you in simple words. The interaction between user and product to perform any task presented through interface is called user interface design. Let's take an example. Suppose a user is watching TV at his home. Television is a product, and they are using remote to interact with television, so here we have two products television and remote. Like I said, when the user interacts with a product to achieve any task, the design medium of the product at the time of interaction is called user interface. Here the user has a task, he has to increase the volume of the TV, the user raises the remote to increase the volume. The remote was designed in such a way that the user understood that if he wants to increase the volume, which button would he press? The designer who designed the remote clearly mentioned that VOL is here as a volume. To increase the volume, he pressed the up button of the volume. How will he know the result? Then he will see on the television that the volume raise bar has arrived. From there he comes to know that the volume of his television is increasing. The user was satisfied here that the interaction happened with the remote, there was a task that increased the volume, it was completed through the interaction. This whole process and design is called user interface. So the design that the user is interacting with is the design of the user's interface. This is what you use this principle through any website design, app design and this is called UI design. So basically what is UI design does not mean how is your design, but it means how it works. So friends, let's see what things should be kept in mind while designing UI. The first point is know your audience, who is your target audience. If here I told you that you have to make Tiffin box for school children, then what will be its design? The design will be cartony. It can be easily opened or closed so that children do not get hurt. If you keep all these things in mind, then you can design a product for children. Same if I design Tiffin box for an office going person. Then what kind of design will it be for those who use Tiffin in a professional way? So basically all three designs are different. So it is important to you that who is the audience using your website, your app, your product. The second point should be a clear message. Seeing your website, the user should know what message you want to give. Like when you go to a website, you got a warning message, you tried to delete a file, and this kind of message came. Now this message is saying proceed if you want to delete the file. Below they have given the option of two buttons, one proceed and one delete. If you click on proceed, the file is getting deleted, and even if you click on delete, the file will be deleted. So here user is getting confused. Instead if we give a straight and clear message, a pop-up message or error message, are you sure you want to delete these files? Two options are given yes, delete or cancel. User is no more confused now. So if you keep such a design for the user, then it will be beneficial for him. And the next point may be hierarchy. Hierarchy means which factors are you giving importance while designing. Now see the image, you can see here the selection of the image, and the selection of the name plus the text used above it is wrong. If it is not visible then the user is getting confused as to which site he should look first. Call to action is not up to the mark or the message you want to give is not clear. Instead, if I try to set a good hierarchy. Now, see this image, you can see it is giving a clear message that you are launching a product on which you are giving 10% off or $10 off. Your message is clear, your call to action button is clear which is in red color is also clear. All these aspects shows that you are giving a clear message. A user understands what message you want to convey. Next point is concision. Concision means that how many things are you showing on the website, app or product. If we see on PF website of India, you can see there are many things here. Here is the link in the main navigation, there are many buttons on the right hand side, and there is also a button in the online services below, which is of principal employer, pensioners portal. It is given in black color and our services are clickable. Normally blue color used for links and URL. Here, it is used for menu tab which is wrong. If you look inside, then the option of principal employer, pensioners portal in black color. If I see it right side, it is difficult to differentiate between link and readable content. So I am getting confused, or else the other user will be, what to click, which click to go where. Here the user's attention is wandering, then he is not able to see clearly. Next point is familiarity. Familiarity means whatever kind of design you do, is it inspired from day-to-day -day life, 
or is it made using everyday things? Like if I talk about the address book, it has tags of alphabet. Press the alphabet and see the name that starts with it. In this way you will get your address soon. If I use this type of design in the tabs of the website, then the user will try to connect to it. Next point is easy to access. Like if you want to do any kind of attachment in Gmail. So what happens normally? You click on the browse button. A folder opens, you select the file, and you attach the file. Gmail is a good option, where the user is getting easy access. You can drag and drop files from folder, it becomes easy to attach files to mail. These things makes the work of users and creates a better experience. Next point is confirmation. Nowadays, we do a lot of tasks on our PC, app and website like booking movie tickets, flight tickets, deleting files, making online payments, etc. If the user does any activity, then a confirmation message is necessary, otherwise that user will be confused whether his task is completed or not. As you can see on the screen, that a task has just been completed which shows a confirmation message that great your booking went through successfully. With this, the user is confirmed that his task has been completed, he does not need to take tension about anything else. Next is follow standards. Standards like web standards, on a regular basis, that you use standards. There are types of standards that are common, such as if you use Microsoft, then in its top menu you will see, file, home, insert, etc. These are commonly used by people and people have adopted it. Like if I have seen this format in Photoshop as well. These are all basic commands, which remain the same. People used it, and it is proven. That's why these are normal standards that you should keep in mind while creating any kind of app or website. New interface if you are achieving like you see in any app. Like menu on book my show app opens from sidebar. In the same way, whether it is 99 acres or other apps, they are also using the same menu and the user has become used to it. So this is also the format used by the people. It is easy to use. I hope you find out this video useful. If you like it, then press the like button, share it with your friends or family members. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content, comments section is all yours. If you want such type of informative videos, then do subscribe to the channel. See you in next video.